All right, so it is the day before official practice on St. John's. We're over here on the Harris chain. Just kind of really trying to dial in rods I haven't thrown in a while. Living in Alabama, you don't throw a frog a ton in December and January. And it's one of my favorite baits there ever, ever has been. Probably my favorite bait ever, just a regular spro popping frog. But I haven't thrown one in a while. Not really planning to get too many bites on it over here. It's not really the, quite honestly, just not that great of a bait for Harris Chain. But I'm just trying to kind of get a little more dialed in at throwing it. Hopefully catch a couple punching. See what's up with that. I'm not opposed to a 10 pounder on a dang frog though. That's a bass. Why is it so black? They look like that down here. Hey, they look like that and you follow sometimes. That's, a That's called old bank runner shallow fish. What's that fuck up with him? He is dark. Three pounder. Three pounder. Close to it. Maybe like a 213, 212. Awesome. Beautiful. First Florida one. It's a good one. I take three like that a day on St. John's and then two twelves. Hi. Hmm? We've been out here a couple of hours and you just caught your first Florida bass of 2021. Tell me how you feel. Feeling pretty good. It was beautiful. Very, very dark fish. Nice, super fat, healthy looking. Awesome. Nice to catch them up there. A nice one, three pounder or so up there on the bank. Punching, a little blown in hyacinths. It's all good right now. All good in the hood. We just out here chilling. Caught it punching, but picked up a frog. Picked up a frog. We got back here to froggy water. All right, guys. We have found our first bed fish of the year. Y'all do not know. I absolutely love bed fishing. This canal has got them. Three pounder right there. Two pounder right here. Let's make a cast to the three pounder real quick because he looks like he's pretty skittish. It's crazy how we got in here and I turned the corner and I seen the depth and the way it looked and I was like, good call Hunter Brooke. Good call going here because she just said, stay out there and punch. I'd have stayed out there and punched. Yep. This one, he's not staying on the bed super good. I mean, this one is a two pounder that I thought was like a hundred percent catchable. No, I do not see him. Hold the phone. We ain't over yet, are we? Caught another one. Same pattern I caught the three pounder doing. A lot, lot smaller though. And not as pretty. Not as pretty. I think he was pretty. Hunter, don't say my fish wasn't pretty. That's my fish. My fish is very pretty. Same pattern. Same pattern. Four alt super heavy cover hook. One and a half ounce Titan tungsten and a Missile Baits D-Mom Bruiser Flash. So we wasted an hour back in that thing. We wasted a little while looking for bedfish. 
we did see some so some that definitely were catchable and uh you know just didn't I didn't want to mess with them. Just didn't mess with them for quite long enough. I really needed to let them set up. I got too close looking at them, seeing what was where, and uh, waste a little bit of time back in there. But that's how it goes when you're looking for bedfish. You waste a little bit of time. And now, back out here on the main drag, punching around. There's one. There's one for sure, though. Let's see if he'll bite a old, old worm in there. That one didn't take too long. Just didn't have a right bait, probably. <laughs> Flip it in there. Don't. Couldn't even see my worm no more. Don't see the little bass in there now. He is not a big one by any means, but. There he comes, I see him. Oh, he is aggressive. I'll go out here with you. I'll run out here with you, see what we can do. This is a 100% catcher, Hunter. You want him? There you go. Yep, just wait right there for a second. You see where he's at. Oh yeah, he is. He definitely is. Just, just chill. All right, he's going to it. He, he's nosing up on it. Just chill. You good? You good? We can wiggle it just a tiny bit, maybe too far, maybe not though. He's got the pincher again. He got there. Got it. Got it. Oh, he had it that time. Good. There you go. That's it. Here there he we comes. Go. There we go. Hold on. All right, got it. Oh my God. Oh my gosh, that hook. It's that hook. <laughs> oh my gosh, dude. It is that hook. <laughs> this is so crazy. He, he like took it out. He caught it when it came off the grass. Try to flip the ace in there and see if he'll bite that. There you go. That's gonna happen. Just wait right there. Hold on. Wait, 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 wait. Where are you taking my thing to? <laughs> he just didn't eat it good, did he? Put it back in the bed. He just was like, take it, took it out and dropped it. He took my thing out and dropped it, dude. He don't like it on that old log right there. Just, just uh, did, drop it over that thing and hop it. Whenever he gets it though, you gotta set the hook super hard. He's about to just thump the heck out of it. <laughs> he had it, but he dropped it. He's about tired of it now though, I think. He's able to keep it in the right spot over that limb. He got it good now, he got it good. <laughs> you better swing him quick. Hunter's first bed fish of this year. 2021. It took a long time. <laughs> How big was he? Little. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you busted him that time. If y'all enjoyed that video, Lake Griffin, leave a comment. St. John's River Tournament is coming up, so hit that subscribe button, turn the alerts on. Y'all don't want to miss St. John's River. Should be a fun one. Should be a lot of really big fish caught. Hopefully, we can catch us a couple ourselves. 
But that was us. Came down to Florida a little bit early. Played around on Griffin for a day and a half or so. So, well, it's actually probably like eight hours total of fishing on Griffin. So, we'll see y'all in the next video. Appreciate it, guys.